Hello again everyone and welcome back to Skyrim. We're back here at our lovely Tundra homestead once again and we need to decide what we are going to pursue now, don't we? So, let's have a little look. Um, so this one might actually be one to pursue to defeat the Guardian Bear because if I remember correctly, this one was actually quite... Eh, it's somewhat close to, to where we've been before. Did we collect any of the bounties just to get them out the way? I don't think we did. No. Uh, still just bits and pieces here. Uh, so, okay. Um, so Guardian Bear's just down here in the sort of... Pretty much very south of the map, almost. It's pretty much bang, bang in the middle uh, near uh, near Falkreath. Uh, Ancient Ascent is there. We've not been there. There's a couple of sanctums and stuff. We've been around the mountains. Um, so I'm just thinking where to start from to maybe work towards the Guardian Bear. Helgen's, Helgen is a possibility. Uh, we could go through the mountains. Uh, if we start at South Fringe, South, South Fringe Sanctum, maybe go through this sort of section here, maybe check out Ancient Ascent uh, to see what why that's on the map. Obviously, it's, it's a dra it'd be a dragon um, nest. So, uh, right. I tell you what, if we start at Helgen, we'll start at Helgen. Artifact Goldbrand. We have Goldbrand. We are currently utilizing Goldbrand. Through the, through the power of Janassa, of course. Uh, so, so let's work our way southwest towards Ancient Ascent. Uh, the sun is going to be slowly murdering Serana, of course. Uh, let's hope that there's no one else in Helgen. Uh, I don't think there will be. Oh. No, there is. Let's just, let's just use our farm arrows. I think we'll be fine. Go, Unicorn! Go! You've got to be the difference maker! Jesus, Janassa actually fucks them up, doesn't she? She, she, she like, mess, properly messes them up. Uh, don't really want anything off his corpse. Do you know what? Fair play to the bandits for seemingly managing to repopulate this place. They've, uh, they've, they've done well. Oh god, it's a wizard. Don't like wizards. It's tougher to, uh, hit this bandit than what... There we go. It's a highwayman. Saran is launching us spells. Let's close the distance if we can. Nice. I don't think it'll be worth looking inside Helgen anymore. Um, I imagine that place is pretty much deserted. Who's there? <laughs> of course, Saran has reanimated the fucking mate, the fucking bandit mage. I, I honestly thought that that, that was <laughs> that was that, that was a, a new bandit who just uh, who's, who's going to come for me, but no. Right, let's go. Let's go around the other side of Helgen and kill these bandits over here, if it's possible. Anyway, I hope those guys can just walk over this rubble. It's um, it's 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 not the hardest rubble to navigate. You just gotta kind of walk over it. But whether they they can actually do that, I don't know. So we have been somewhat detected. So we might offer uh, uh, meet some resistance this is just a plain old bandit he's gonna he's gonna go down in one or two hits isn't he I mean one or two hits if I can actually hit him is he gonna come out this side yes he is he died mid swing poor guy right let's uh let's pull out torment let's give torment a whirl Ooh. Yeah. Tolman looks like it's gonna cause some damage. Like obviously they were they were pretty lowly bandits, but still. The fact that the fact that I hit that that bandit with the with the the hilt of the sword and it wrecked her like that is hopefully indicative of what kind of damage Tolman's gonna cause. I hope anyway. I'm gonna assume that this bandit's on top of this uh, on top of this tower. I shall fight her. Him. It's a him. Uh, 
Yeah, that was that was savage. Like he he just didn't stand a chance, did he? He really didn't. Chester here, a couple of potions and whatnot. Right. So now that I'm pretty sure Helgen is safe once again. Well, you see, uh, we say safe. It's it's still pretty much the Skyrim version of Kavach right now. Like it's it's pretty messed up. <clears throat> but. I don't think my followers were able to actually get round the rubble, uh, but we'll keep on heading southwest regardless. Actually, was there, is, there, is there not an exit to Helgen that goes more over that way? I don't... Uh... Let me just check. I just want to see if there's a way to get up up the mountain from, from Helgen. Because um, obviously with there being a cave up there, I'm quite curious as to whether we can reach it or not. Uh, I don't know. I don't know where Serana and Janassa are. I'm not gonna lie. Uh, no, that's gonna be too awkward to get up. That's fine. We'll just fi we'll just find a way up. Um, with on the road, I'm sure we'll find one somewhere. It's not gonna be not gonna be the end of the world. Okay. Um, so we might have to do a spot of fast travelling once we get to a location to uh, get Serana and Janassa to follow us. Ah, this is this is a very easy way of the. Do you know what? I almost I almost hit that dog. I almost hit that dog, and I don't think I would have forgiven myself. Come on, guys. Hey! Don't hit the dog! Don't hit the dog. Save the dog. Save... No! Oh, a doggo. It's time for you to go back home, dog. Oh, Your pet head's back home. Is... Is he going to my house? I don't know what house he's from. Or where he, where he originates, but apparently he's going back there, wherever it is. Uh, right. So we have a cave here. This potentially might take us up to Ancient Ascent. Actually, I could, I could see, the, I could see this taking us up. Yeah, it's a passage, Bone Chill Passage. So let, let me just sort my follower issue. Another cave. There we go. I've spent enough time on the ground myself, but if you want to go in, I'm right behind I mean, you. you've you've spent time complaining about the fact that that we were in direct sunlight. So I don't think it'd be a bad idea if you just come in here for a little bit, you know? All right, let's get the elven arrows out because this might be a little bit of a tougher proposition. Yeah. Definitely a tough proposition. Uh, let me get Tormund's out. Okay. So I think I'm probably gonna unfavorite a lot of the stuff that I'm actually currently have favorites. Let me let me just check because what do I just not use? I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna con to the skeleton minion. I don't think I'm gonna use fireball. Uh, yeah. Elemental Blast I like, the other ones not so much, so it's probably mainly the magic I need to trim down. Let me just do that quickly. Favorites? Nope. Nope. Ice Form I do like to use. No. Orc Flesh, that could be useful. No, I'm nowhere near with the magic for that. Potentially. No, that's too risky. Uh. Touch of death. 213. We do have that magic in our door, we actually. Like, I'm sure we do. Do I have a number for my magicka? 200. Well, yeah, we, we, we do actually have enough magicka for that. So we can just use uh, the touch of death now instead of Hangman's Noose. Obviously, we can't use it as much, but we can still use it, which might actually be better. So if we actually just. Unfavorite Hangman's Noose. Unbounded Flames. 
Yeah, we'll keep on rising force, just in case, and whirlwind sprint. Yeah, keep that as well. Any anything else on our favourites list that we're not using? No. Okay. That that at least makes it a bit simpler. So we'll equip touch of death. There you go. Okay. There you go. So. So, so we now have a better version of Hangman's Loose, essentially. Like I say, it's not going to be as effective. Well, it's not going to be as, you know, persistent usage as we do with Hangman's Loose normally, but I imagine the the overall uh, effect of the, of the spell will be a lot better. Now we've got a troll to deal with here. Why are we not going invisible? Are we not? Are, are we noticing that? We're not going invisible once we actually draw the weapon. What the fuck? Who's behind us? Oh, it's another ice raid. Let's let's. And a and a resurrected bandit corpse as well. Beautiful. Uh, okay. Yeah, we, we're we're not going invisible anymore with the uh... there we go. Goat horns—they might actually be somewhat useful to take for the house. I'll have to remember to store them, store them somewhere though. Uh, kill was that stamina potion. Yes, yes, it was. Yeah, wh wh why, why are we not going invisible anymore? That's so straight. Is it is it uncharged? No. Am I missing something? Like I I might be missing something, but we're we're no longer going invisible. Yeah, we're not. Ah. Very odd, but we'll, we'll we'll get out of the cave. Maybe, maybe we just need a reload. Maybe. Yeah, we're not going invisible. Ah, huh. that's very unusual. I don't know if there's any particular reason for that, but like our magic is fine, isn't it? I don't. I don't I, it doesn't even say it costs magic. No idea what's going on, to be honest. Okay, fair enough. Well, either way, we got a dragon to kill. And a word of power to learn by the looks of it, so we'll get the bow and arrows out. This is going to be probably going to be quite tricky. Let's try and get the jump on it if we can. Oh shit! It's just a regular dragon, so so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. Yeah, that was always going to be quite simple, wasn't it? Uh, as soon as you realise it's, it's just a plain dragon, you, you, you're you going to be pretty confident that, that, you, that, you, that you're going to... Uh... That only had one one set of um, each of the dragon items as well. Interesting. Okay, well that's our... Uh... That's our soul taken. Necklace of Grounding... So so many nice so much nice jewelry to find. Orcish scaled armor, quite nice. Glass warks powering, nice. Dragon soul absorbed, yep, there we go. And we have a word of power to learn. What we're we learning here. Allegiance, animal allegiance. So I'm Guessing that's probably something to do with uh, taming beasts and stuff. Animal allegiance. A shout for help for help from the beasts of the wild to come to fight in your defence. We will unlock. There we go. We have unlocked everything so far, haven't we? we? Probably have done. Yeah. Brilliant. Okay, so that's that uh, dragon dealt with. Um, Are we still not going invisible? No. It's really weird, isn't it? Like, why? If we unequip the bow of shadows and equip it again, 
No, it's just not working. We're just not going invisible. Wow. Okay. That's it's different. It's different. Definitely different. Well, we'll fast travel to Bone Chill Passage. So we can get back down to the bottom again. And we'll check out this cave to the east. See what we're uh, we're dealing with over here. Before we carry on over to towards Falkreath. We're finally going to visit another city. Who are these guys? Oh, the, Th the Thalmor. Why does the Thalmor attack us on sight? That's not usual, is it? Right, can you calm down? Thalmor just this year is mean. One more bone arrow should do it. <laughs> oh, the Thalmor are fighting the Thalmor. What a wonderful sight. Lovely, lovely stuff. I'm not going to bother taking their armor. It's not actually that valuable if you look at it. Um, maybe this guy might have some nice stuff. Just, just this here execution order. Ooh, this might explain why, uh, why, why they attacked us. Let's have a looky look here. Just this year, execution order. Be on the lookout for the Imperial called Kragus. He is an enemy to the Thalmor and has actively disrupted our activities and caused great harm. If spotted, you are to destroy him with, ex with extreme hatred. Be advised, he is extremely dangerous and quite able to defend himself. If caught by local authorities, we are unable to offer you any assistance. For the glory of the Almeri Dominion. Ah, so they have obviously realised that we have been interfering with their activities like their capture of prisoners and whatnot um, and are clearly not too happy about it somewhat understandably so yeah fair enough do you know what yeah I can't I can't blame them I still don't like them but I can't blame them really C can't blame them at all can't blame them we're still all good. There's a four over there. Oh, a Talgan. Idiot. Idiot Craig. Of course, a Talgan. You're right next to the damn place. Okay, what, what's this cave up here? Looks grisly as all hell. Speaking of... Oh, it's, it's, it's a saber cat. Very easily dealt with. Grey Water Grotto. Okay. I'm not going to use my bone arrows anymore. I don't have that many left, to be perfectly honest. Uh, we'll go to Elven. And we'll head inside. There's a lot of blood in the entrance, which clearly indicates a nice, wholesome place. Uh, right. Is that an ore vein? Yes, I know. I don't I don't know why you'd ever want that, but Well actually to be fair for the for the housing materials we need, probably. So it looks like we're dealing with ice wraiths. For the most part here. It's probably gonna be quite tricky to get a bead on them. I'll try Oh no! No no we we we, we nailed it. And this one. Just like that. Getting some really nice critical strikes here. Take the ice wraith materials. Ooh. Some some unfortunate bandits have clearly been uh, through these caves and not suffered a particularly pleasant fate, it must be it must be said. We're dealing with more we're dealing with more uh, saber cats here, looks like. Wolf as well, I think. That's the wolf dead. Ooh, the saber cats are not going to be happy with us. Uh, 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 uh. Hang on, let me get Tormund out. Let's test touch of death.
Yeah, that was that was a that was a lot of damage. Seemingly anyway. It, it seemed like a lot of damage. I could be wrong, but to me it seemed like a lot of damage. Okay. So is this the whole cave? Is this yeah, yeah, this is yeah, it's all cleared out. Nice, good stuff. Oh, there's a chest here as well though. Oracalcum ingots, magic potion. Nice. Don't think we're missing anything else from this uh, place, unless there's something hidden on top of that. Doesn't look like it. That might be an orb in there, but it could also just be a plain old rock. I'm not sure. All right, let's hightail it out of this cave if we can. Once we are out of here, we shall end the episode. Right, that is it for this episode, guys. Like I say, um, next episode we shall carry on going west towards Falkreath and see what else we can discover. So thanks again for watching, guys. Hope you all have a fantastic day, and yeah, bye-bye.